हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन फ्रेंड्स इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी डिस्कस्ड सम फिगर्स ऑफ स्पीच सम पोएटिक डिवाइसेस लाइक क्लाइमैक्स एंड एंटी क्लाइमैक्स लाइक एसोनेंस एंड एलिटरेशन लाइक सिमिली एंड मेटाफर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू मोर पोएटिक डिवाइसेस टू मोर फिगर्स ऑफ स्पीच नेम्ड एज hyperbole and personification so friends let's begin with hyperbole as the name itself implies you know hyperbole means exaggeration hyperbole is a greek word in greek language if you translate that greek word into english it means excess of something in this poetic device the poet uses some overstatements he presents something or some idea in an exaggerated manner you know jitna hai usse bhi zyada dikhane ki koshish kabhi karte hain it is used to make the ideas more effective more alarming or sometimes more impressive say for example w h oden has used has written this line this statement my love i will adore you until africa and china meet now we know that africa and china are the countries located at distant places they can never meet geographically but the poet actually wants to suggest that he will love the lady forever okay uh let's take another example uh by william shakespeare william shakespeare has written a tragedy called macbeth in macbeth there is a character lady macbeth the wife of macbeth she speaks this line all the perfumes of arabian sea cannot sweeten my little hands the lady macbeth wants to say that she has committed so many crimes in her life that you know the smell of blood is still in her, on her little hands which can never be sweetened even by the all the perfumes of arabian sea now we know that such uh, this much amount of perfume cannot be brought okay but it is an exaggeration it is a hyperbole another poetic device is personification which is widely used by the english poets it is a figure of speech in which the poet gives or imparts some human qualities some human characteristics to something which is not human to something which is inanimate some sometimes these human qualities are given to some ideas some animals sometimes to some forces of nature in short you know in personification here non living things are presented as living things personification the name itself tells us person person means a living person okay so non living things are presented as living person let's take one example by l g montgomery montgomery has written this statement the woods are preparing to go to sleep now the woods are not the human beings who go to sleep who cannot prepare to go to bed but the poet wants to suggest that it is the night it is the time of night let's take one more example from william wordsworth william wordsworth has written a very popular poem daffodils in this poem the flowers daffodils are given some human qualities he says i wandered lonely as a cloud as a cloud is a simile okay but a host of golden daffodils host of means so many golden daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees 
fluttering and dancing in the breeze now in these words fluttering and dancing the flowers are presented as dancing the flowers do not dance human beings dance right but still by using this poetic device personification william wordsworth has presented the flowers as fluttering and dancing in the breeze so this is an example of personification friends here i finish this video if you have any doubts or questions do write to me in the comment section of this channel thank you thank you very much